Visualization, what is it? It's something that we reserve for or write off for people who are just sort of into this weird periphery philosophy that doesn't really apply to people like me and you, right? People who are logical and people who think pragmatically. What does visualization have anything to do or how does that help us? So I remember when I first heard about visualization, it was when that movie came out called The Secret and I was watching a parody of it and thinking how ridiculous this thing is. How weird it was that people thought that just because they thought something would happen, it manifested somehow. And over the years, that's sort of what I've stayed in thinking like. I haven't thought of if I think in the future something will happen, then it will come. That could be for negative things and that could be for positive things. But then something happened. I started to notice that things in my life seem to become happier when I came from a place of being happier in myself. And so it was sort of like me manifesting happiness in my life. Weird. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to give this thing a go. And I was reading in this book called The Mountain Is You by Brianna West. I'm butchering that name, I'm sorry. But in it, she gave you an exercise to do. And this is a video about me trying that exercise and what I found. So the question she gave us in the book was a question that we're all asked, I'm sure, in various, various job opportunities, interviews. And the question simply is, who do you want to be in five years? And it's sort of weird. I hadn't thought of that question in a very, very long time. The last time I had thought of that question was when I was preparing for an interview. But ever since then, I haven't really thought about it. And it took me aback because I thought, have I just been going day to day without really having a direction to where I want to be? And so to start this, think about who you want to be in five years time. Who are they? What values do they have? How do they dress? Imagine meeting you from five years in the future right now. Imagine that meeting. How does this person dress? How do they present themselves? How do they speak? What kind of energy do you feel when you're in their presence? Do you feel a heaviness? Do you feel like they're more depressed than you are right now? Do you feel like they're more stressed than you are right now? Or do you feel like they're happier, they're calmer, and they're more successful? So as embarrassing as this is, I'm gonna read what I wrote when I did this exercise. And please bear with me. <laughs> so I wrote, He's wearing smart clothes, dressed well. I initially imagined him to be skinny and healthy, but I want him to look a bit big too. Some strength and substance, not just lean. He looks bright. He's glowing. He's wealthy, not just in finance, but in his life experiences. He's built something and he's getting paid to do what he loves. He has a family. He's calmer than I am. He's let go of a lot of demons and he's confronted a lot of trauma. He was more empathetic, more loving and caring than I am. He works hard, he's consistent, he has strategies to deal with laziness and he works hard because he has a purpose. He competes in triathlons, swims, he has conquered a lot of fears, he climbs mountains and he works hard and isn't lazy. Super embarrassing, but whatever, I'm trying to help. So, so now that you've imagined how they look, what they feel like, what kind of characteristics they have, what values they have, and you've defined that. Now I want you to imagine having a conversation with this person. What would they tell you from who you are right now to become who they are? What advice would they tell you? And if you're struggling to imagine this, a useful thing I found was imagining speaking to myself five years younger or 10 years younger. So for example, me at 25, speaking to me when I was 15, telling this young child man what things he needs to hear, specific advice for him, the difficult experiences he was going through, things that would help him get through these things to who I am now, which is hopefully a bit better than I was when I was 15. So give this a go and really give it a shot. Write it down what you experience as well, because I feel like it's a really useful activity. Again, for me, making myself feel embarrassed about talking about these things. But for me, I imagined my older self telling me right now to trust myself, to 
to trust the feelings I feel and let them direct me and not to feel like I have to do things because other people have told me to or because society expects a certain thing. And the other things were to keep consistent, not to be lazy, because those moments of laziness you won't remember in five years. Those moments of pain and being uncomfortable with how much work you have to do, you don't remember those five years later. Five years later, you remember the achievements you made and achievements are made by just consistently working at something. This one I didn't expect and it was just something that came up when I was imagining this, but it was my older self telling me to keep asking for help. Something that you don't realize is sometimes you need help and it's really hard to ask for help, be it at your work, in your personal life, in your relationships, in fitness, whatever. Whatever these things are, to ask for help and to connect with people is actually a very valuable thing. And these things compound and they just give you so much enrichment. It's so easy to have blind spots when you're doing something solo. But then when you ask for help, you can get a little bright light put on these blind spots. And inevitably, the end goal is that it helps you improve. And as much as that might hurt your ego, that's the most important thing is that you're improving. The third point is the advice they've given you and where they are. I want you to reverse engineer that. What are the year by year goals you need to have? What are the quarterly goals that you need to have? Monthly goals, day by day goals. How are you going to reverse engineer where they are to where you are right now. If they seem fit and healthy, what are you gonna do on a day-to-day -day basis to become fit and healthy? Obviously, you shouldn't go run 100 kilometers straight to get to that point. You should start today by just doing something small. Go run for 15 minutes. If you wanna do a triathlon in five years, go do a small run, a small swim, a small cycle. If you wanna have a million dollars in five years, go read a book about personal finance. Go start investing in some things make some side revenue sources, but start today. This quote I keep telling myself is, if you miss the best time to start, the second best time to start is now. So don't fret, you still have time. And if you wanna to get to this goal you have, this idea you have of you in five years time, do these little things day by day. Have little chunks that you can do every single day and then review those chunks every month, every six months, every year, and see how much you can do. Just challenge yourself. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Just see how far you can go. If you don't achieve what your vision was, look how far you came anyway. So look, I know visualization can get really weird and really out there, but I implore you just to try things. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you try it and it doesn't work for you. And then that's fine. You haven't lost anything. As you're trying to continually improve yourself, the best thing to do is just to dip your foot into all these different things and just see how they help you. If they help you, awesome. I'm really happy. But if they don't, then that's fine as well. You'll find something else that speaks to you. So to summarize, these are the three steps that you need to be doing for just trying visualization. Number one, envision who this person is in five years time everything about them, their characteristics, their values, their energy. Number two, imagine a conversation between you and them. What would they tell you? What things would they say to help improve your current life circumstance? And then number three, reverse engineer this. How are you going to get from where they are to where you are now? And build those little steps that are manageable, not huge, but just manageable. And I promise you, these exercises will really help develop your goals and help you become a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm.